Hey man, uh, sure got a lot of 14 GNs out there, dude. Yeah, there's three. What? All sold? Uh... Hey, how's it going? My name's Alex, and in this video, we are at MGS, and we are picking up two of those trailers over there somewhere, but two brand new gooseneck trailers. Here it is. I've been hearing you guys' comments. Alex, get a dually, get a dually. Nope, that is not my trailer. I'm not getting a dually. <laughs> I really want to go over uh, a bunch of stuff because even though my video, the ultimate non-CDL hotshot trailer is doing really good, has a lot of views, uh, you guys are still asking. So maybe this will be for the newer viewers that are just starting to watch. So long story short is this right here is my new trailer. <laughs> All right, so this is a Big Tech 16 GN with 8,000 pound torsion axles, not leaf spring axles. I have 8,000 pound leaf spring axles on the uh, load trail, uh, but this is specifically torsion axles. Now, what's really crazy is I got this trailer right here, but also I got this one right here, the 16 GN. That's also my trailer. They're prepping that one. You see the spare tire isn't mounted yet. And it's also the, all the lug nuts aren't there here. We can show you, look, all the lug nuts aren't here. You see right there. Um, so only four lug nuts, but so I actually got two trailers this time instead of one, uh, like last time, but that one's not ready yet. I mean, they're going to get it like today, but this one is the one I'm going to be working on. <laughs> what I want to do with this trailer is convert the hubs from oil to Greece. Okay, really quick, I want to go over why I go from oil or from Greece to no, from oil to Greece. Goodness, Alex, get it straight. So, guys, uh, I've been doing this now for five years. I've had a 32 footer, a 36 footer, then I had a 40 hefty, then I had a 40 um, 14 GN, then I had a 40 16 GN, and then I had a 40 load trail car hauler, and now I have these two trailers. So I'm now on my ninth trailer, uh, eighth, Alex, math, eighth trailer. And the issue is the same thing. Guys, I understand when you're heavy, yes, you want axles that can handle a lot of weight. Or no, when you're heavy, you want something to keep your hubs and bearings cool yes i get it but that's the benefit of non-cdl i'm not heavy so i don't need to be cool grease it's fine it'll work it doesn't get that hot if it's that hot then you have a different issue it's never usually your bearings that get that hot that's number one um heat is not a problem number two guys i understand oil um people a lot of people say oil is better and they don't really know it, the only reason you say oil is better is because you haven't pulled the trailer with oil. That's the only reason. But in reality, the issue is the single wheel trailers flex a lot. So when the, when the tandem is like this and you're backing in or you're making a corner, the wheels go like this. Okay, they cross. So you're backing up, they go like this because the front one is going this way and the back one is, or the back, maybe they go like this. this. Let's say this is the back one and this is the front one. They might go like this, right? When you're making turns. So the problem is because they're single wheel applications, that seal on the inside of the hub breaks. And so you're backing into a spot, you wake up in the morning, you hit the road and your axle's on fire the next day because the pro pre previous night, your, all your hub fluid leaked out. The seals are not good. I understand you can get upgraded seals, guys. I've heard every single story ever under the sun. Trust me, I've tried single wheel oil hubs and it never works. At the end of the day, keep in mind, I'm giving these trailers to my drivers. I need the utmost reliable, I didn't say long term, day to day reliable, right? Sure, maybe my bearings don't last half a million miles. Big deal, boohoo. I replace my bearings every 10,000 miles anyways, so who cares how long they last? So. I understand that maybe they don't last as long, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for day-to-day -day on the road um, uh, convenience and reliability. And there's nothing more reliable than grease and torsion axles. All right, first thing is get your wheels obviously up in the air. Second thing is take off your tires. Step three is take everything out of your hub and then take off your hub, okay? So that's step three. All right, so once you got everything removed from the hub, including this back seal and this bearing that's back here spray it down with brake clean both the hub 
and the bearings and the seals and all, all the stuff that you took out spray it all down with brake clean so that there's no more oil all right next you want to take some grease and just put it all in here and all over your bearings too just jam pack it full of grease once everything is greased up your bearings the inside of your hubs put it all back together just like you took it apart. All right, so once I got done switching from oil to grease, I started looking for loads because the dealer let me know that on that second trailer, we didn't receive the paperwork for the 12,000 pound GVWR, so I could not take that second trailer. And I luckily, I did find myself a load, some drainage pipe. So let's just go grab that. All right, so anyways, <laughs> Right when he set down the first piece, it blocked the camera, so the time lapse, the time lapse was uh, literally worthless. But here's the load, obviously drainage pipe or whatever. It's huge, big load. Uh, yeah, first 40 foot load on the first new 40 foot trailer. But anyways, it's already dark outside, so you can't even see anything. Anyways, got the flash blinding me in my eyes. So honestly, let's just hit, let's get back on the road. I run over something that just looks like normal ice or snow in the you know what i mean in the road literally not even three seconds later the t thing is beeping at me low tire warning like look at this um oh right there oh right there oh there it is look at that look right there tire low and it's a steer tire too so yeah looks like we are gonna be changing a front steer tire So like the good YouTuber that I am, I set up my camera to deliver my load, right? And so I'm undoing my straps. I pull over to the left side of their like little road and I set up my camera on the uh, passenger side, right? So I'm undoing all my ratchets, stuff like that. It's like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. So, uh, but then the guy pulls up to me and says, hey, you gotta go down and park onto the right side but I forget to switch my camera. Now, the problem with this drainage pipe is it's like really close to each other. And so while this guy was taking off the back stack, he ended up hooking the front stack and that front, the top front stack ended up falling off my trailer. So here's that. Now I saw from the inside that this guy wasn't a very good forklift driver or maybe he was okay, but he wasn't very careful. He was very careless. And so I recorded it from the inside of the truck too. All right, now really quick load breakdown on the drainage pipe. So obviously we were at MGS, the trailer dealership, and then we deadheaded to Muncie, Pennsylvania, and that load is actually going to uh, Bessemer City, North Carolina. So you can see right here, 699 on the miles. And right here is the rate con, like I said, uh, Muncie, Pennsylvania to Bessemer City. And here you go, $1,100. Uh, that was the total pay and so if you do the quick rate per mile that's a dollar 57 rate per mile for all miles obviously including the deadhead on the loaded it was probably a little bit better but um, but yeah so it, in theory drainage pipe looks nice but you know hopefully you're really close to it um, and that's when it's worth it but other than that if you have a lot of deadhead eh, I don't know but revenue is revenue so instead of sitting and waiting for the paperwork to be sent from Texas I'm glad I at least had eleven hundred dollars on the deck All right, well, here it is. You know, nothing nothing crazy, I guess. Uh, nothing, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's just uh, sometimes, you know, it's one of those things, just another load, and that's what we need. I need just another load on the books. I'm getting a call right now. That might be the partial I'm working on though. Now, even though I had a lot of room, I wasn't able to get a partial with this load because even though it was like, it was small, it was 8,000 pounds. And here's the rate con for it. So the Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, there's no eight, their H is missing here, but it's Hicksville, New York. So 1300 bucks. So a decent run, you know, but Hicksville, New York, I don't know if you know where that is, but right here. So Bessemer City, that's where I deliver the other load uh, going to Charlotte to Hicksville at 688 on the miles. Now, Hicksville, if you recall, it is right here on Long Island. And so uh, probably, there's probably some tolls. So, uh, but the rate per mile on it comes out, including the deadhead, is a dollar eighty-eight. So on the loaded miles, I mean, it's not bad. It's like two bucks a mile for you know that like eight thousand pound, twelve or fourteen foot thing. Uh, I think it was a garbage compactor. That's what it was. Uh, and I don't have any unloading footage either. So uh, I think overall it was a good like there and back, good quick little run. Um, Eleven hundred down. 
1300 back, so it's like $2,400, uh, not bad, while we were waiting for the paperwork to come in for that second trailer. Anyways, we just got done signing the paperwork for this load trail. That's it, it's gone. It's yours to buy. It's at MGS up here. Um, you know, honestly guys, I will say that Matt has a lot of non-CDL trailers here, 38, 40 footer, stuff like that. So if you are looking for a non-CDL 40 footer, call Matt, okay? He's always uh, in the comments too. Um, yeah, I'll put his phone number and stuff everywhere. But overall, uh, everything's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with all everything. I'm excited. I now have three 16 GN trailers, right? This one, that one, and my, my my one with the aluminum ramps and the big wheels so all right well i am back from pennsylvania here's that new trailer and actually you know my drivers <laughs> just parked the truck too he's over here um but as you can see it's loaded right away so uh, like literally it's it's ridiculous how like that whole trip to pa like it was nothing what I expected it to be because uh, ultimately I hoped that you know I'd be able to go up there um, everything would be nice and like going good and no no crazy delays and sure enough that's never how things work out so long story short I put the trailer right away to work and it's so dirty it's so just <laughs> it's like I asked somebody when I was picking up this load I'm like hey how old do you think my trailer is and they're like yeah probably like three four years old and I'm like no Nope, it's like a week old. So yeah, uh, it, it's it's ridiculous how bad these trailers look right away. So, and uh, yeah, but that's gonna do it for this video. I think this video ended up being longer than I thought, but let me know in the comments down below what you think and I'll see you in the next one, bye.